Do you feel hopeless about climate change and the damage we are doing to our planet? I did. But then I was shown a new way to look at the problem, which made the solution so obvious and so within reach. A solution that's right under our feet. I've been sharing this story with everyone I know, and now I want to share it with you. Climate change is all about too much carbon in our atmosphere, right? But carbon's not our enemy. It's the building block of life. Everything alive is made of it. It's us. The problem and the solution are simply a matter of balance. To see this balance, let's step back and look at the five pools of where carbon is stored on planet Earth. Atmosphere, biosphere, oceans, soil, and fossil. Starting about 500 million years ago, when plants appeared on land, carbon began to cycle in an amazing balance between these pools. A balance that allowed for life as we know it to evolve. Then one life form, us, figured out how to extract carbon from the fossil pool, which is pretty much a permanent timeout zone for carbon. Then we burned it for energy, putting it into play, disrupting that balance. Human beings have done several other things to throw this natural carbon balance out of whack. The way we manage land and do agriculture is moving even more carbon from the soil and biosphere into the atmosphere. Specifically, we've moved 534 gigatons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which is heating up the planet and destabilizing our climate. The big question is, where do we put this excess carbon? Well, remember when I said that the solution is right under our feet? It literally is. It's the soil. It turns out we already have a technology that removes carbon from the atmosphere and it's got 500 million years of research and development behind it. Plants with sunlight and water perform photosynthesis. They pull in carbon from the air and turn it into carbohydrates, sugars. Then they pump some of those sugars down through their roots to feed microorganisms who use that carbon to build soil. Voila, carbon moved. Plants pump it in and soil stores it. Nature's living technology is amazing. What if we worked with this regenerative technology instead of destroying it? How could we do that? By giving a little carbon back. Scientists have recently discovered that applying a thin layer of compost sets up an ongoing positive feedback loop that brings more and more carbon into the soil each year in concert with other regenerative practices like not tilling the soil, planting trees, cover crops, and planned grazing, we can build and retain gigatons of soil carbon. This is carbon farming. This is regenerative agriculture. And there is nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. Check this out. Unlike more carbon in the atmosphere, more carbon in the ground is good for us. It makes healthy soil, which is nutrient rich, full of life, and holds way more water. This means more nutritious food and crops that are more resilient in the face of drought. That's good news for farmers, families, and everyone that eats. Remember this, the way we grow our food, fiber, and fuel either puts carbon up into the atmosphere or it pulls it down into the ground. The regeneration of soil is the task of our generation. Our health, the health of our soils, and the health of our planet are one and the same. 